Hey, Paul, what's going on? Hey, I'm cool. I'm cool, okay. Uh, Monia, welcome back. Welcome. Hello, and then... Oh, uh, hello again. Hello again. Fancy meeting you here. So, uh, Laura, I, I can't even say it right. Is that right, Laura? Hello? Maybe maybe you have your microphone muted. It might be muted up there. Up the Laura. 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 Yes. Laura. Okay. All right. I got it now. So good. Good. Boy, I'll tell you, I don't know. This this computer's driving me crazy. It just keeps on switching off this the screen share. And I have no idea why. Hmm. Anyway, I guess we'll have to deal with it. Okay, so let me just close a few of these tabs here. Okay, let's see who else is here. Hey, David, welcome back. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. No, it's just, it's just, just water. Water. Okay. Hello. Uh, mm -hmm, yep. Hello, Hiromi. Hiromi, come on into class. Okay, we'll teach you some pronunciation. Okay, and you're welcome for the message. Okay. All right, welcome. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, not everybody likes to do writing and pronunciation classes, but I think we'll be okay. Be no problem at all. Okay. And, uh, Laura, you said you're from Colombia, is that right? Yes, I'm from Colombia. Okay, good, good, good. Um, and you're new to you're new to Colingo. How are you? Uh, how are you studying your English? How how have you been practicing English and learning English before uh, uh -huh. before Colingo? Before Colingo, internet mm -hmm. and TV. TV, okay. Were you, were you watching Titanic a lot? <laughs> no. Um. Um. Okay. My dad made us see only English television, so I have only mm -hmm. seen. He made TV you watch. Yeah, he made you made you watch uh, uh, English television yeah. shows. Boy, that sounds like a cruel and unusual punishment. You know. Like yeah. So like, to be able to understand, yeah. to translate, yeah, I had to, yeah. to see them in English. Mm. Yeah, but but the side effect is you become this consumeristic slave. You know, so you, you learn you learn English, but then you just you get stuck always wanting to buy things in order to make you happy. Television, actually, I don't see yeah. television. I'm, I'm just I'm I just goofing. Around. Yeah, I'm just goofing around anyway. You know, you can you can still watch American TV without um without uh being such a crazy uh crazy consumerist. <laughs> Okay, just taking a nap. You know. But you know what I'm talking about, Monia, right? You know, it's just like, you know, look, I, I love the fact that I'm from the United States, um, and I believe it was a, a great place when I was around, but right now it's just just too insane, you know, just buying everything, and yeah. if you feel bad, take a, take a pill, you know? Yeah. Just, take a pill. It's, it's like, what? <laughs> I have, two, I have two, two nephews right now that are on uh, – they're on uh, medication. They're on drugs for their, oh. um, yeah, for their moods. Why? And it's just, and, Be careful. Uh, they, well, they had, yeah, they had some bad things happen this last year and everything. I'm sorry you know, about that. Like, yeah, I mean, I've I've gone through bad things too, but just you know, putting them on uh, what's the what's the one Zoloft? You know, it's just anyway. I'm not, I'm not you trying know, to get my what, personal life. What I feel life, when I when crazy. I'm talking with you with Americans here and on Kalingo, I feel like I'm in a movie or something. <laughs> like, like you're in a movie? Is, yes, is it a bad like, movie? <laughs> no, no, no. Of course, it's a perfect movie. <laughs> good. Movies, good. movies help a lot in language and especially pronunciation. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They do. Just be careful with. Uh, with some of the subtitles on movies, especially if you get them uh, in the black market, you know, illegally, because some of the subtitles are just really off. Like when I was when I was in China, there was no place to buy movies except for the black market, and then like okay. sometimes the subtitles would be on, and I would I would go like, what? 
because the subtitles were nothing. I mean, there some of them were really far off. Um, there was one movie with Jodie Foster where she's on an airplane. And it was like they had some gangster uh, put in some put in some of the lyrics or something. Yeah. The saying, but anyway, I'm getting off on a tra uh, tangent. So yeah, uh, Hiromi. So your husband is taking a nap here. You know what? Just just kick the guy out. You know. Come on, show him who's the boss, Hiromi. Okay, jump in class. No, I'm just kidding. So, um, let's see. All right, so let's let's get class started. I don't know where everybody else is. Maybe they um, maybe they just don't want to join until everything's started. So let's get going here. And I'm going to try to make this window a little smaller so I can see when this screen share pops off. I hope this is still a good size here. Okay, let me see here. Okay. Okay, maybe this is actually a little better. Let me see. All good. Okay, let me see the size in this. So is that is that big enough? I mean, it's as big as it's going to get actually. So let me see. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, sorry, folks. Let me uh, let me go ahead and get this started here. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to work on uh, punctuation. All right, and we're also going to work on capitalization of words. Okay, all right. And uh, I know this is a writing, but we'll be doing a fair amount of reading uh, in order to get to this. Okay, not really too much writing in here actually. So, uh, David. Hey, David. Hey. Hey. Can you do me a favor? Can you uh, can you read this for us? You know, the guide to basic English pronunciation rules. Can you start reading this? Yeah, sure. Um, punctuation is used to mark the cadence, pauses, and tone in writing English, and other words. Punctuation helps us to understand when to pause between fully formed ideas when speaking, as well as organize, organize our thoughts and writing. English punctuation marks include period, comments, question mark, exclamation mark, column. Okay. Let me call him. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. One second here. Okay. Go ahead. Um, beginning English learners should focus on understand the period, comma and question mark. Intermediate to advance, students should also learn how to use columns and semicolons, as well as an occasional exclamation mark. This guy, this guy, provides instruction of the basic rules of using a period, comma, colon, semicolon, question mark, and exclamation point. Each type of punctuation is followed by an explanation and sample sentences for reference purpose. Okay, so good. So good. So again, folks, this is a, um, a high beginner class, all right? So if you're a high beginner, then this is about the right speed for you, okay? So I'm sorry, I shouldn't use slang. So like speed just means, you know, the right pace, the right level, okay? All right, so let's start into this. Um, lo re, okay. Laura, Still wrong, isn't it? Laura. 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 Yes. Laura. Thank you, Laura. Monia. Well, you You're know, welcome. Monia. She. I kid you not. She always helps with the pronunciation of uh, <laughs> the students. It's it's amazing. It's it's funny. It really is, um, and funny in a good way. Uh, but she's always there to help because I'm so terrible at it. Um, well, okay. It's my pleasure, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So thank you. Uh, you you're keen to names. Um, 
Okay, so can you start reading here with period? Okay, okay. Go ahead, period. period um, use a period to end a complete sentence. A sentence is a group of words containing a subject and predicate. In a British English, a period is called a full stop. Examples. He went to Detroit last week. Period. Uh, they are going to visit. Period. A full stop. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Yep. So good. 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 So yeah, just just really simple, you know. And just when it comes to a full stop, end of sentence, we always know this. All right. We won't get into like writing run-on sentences or anything like that. Okay. So go ahead, Laura. Laura. Uh, Laura. Comma. There are numbers of different use for commas in English. Commas are used to separate a list of items. This is one of the most common use of a comma. Notice that a comma is included before the conjunction AND, which comes before the final element of a list. Okay. okay. Examples. I like reading, listening to music, talk, taking long walks, and visiting my friends. They will like books, magazines, DVDs, video cassettes, and other learning materials for their library. Library. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Library. Commas are also used to separate phrases, uh, clauses. This is especially true after a beginning dependent clause or a long prepositional phrase. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know how to read the word. Examples. Okay. In order to qualify for your certificate, you will need to take a TOEFL exam. Although we wanted to come, he wasn't able to attend the house. Okay, um, so good. So good. So uh, that's a. That's that's. Oh, it's it's okay. Okay. So these are. Um, you know, after the beginning of a dependent clause or with the long prepositional phrase, you use it in there, okay? But by the way, folks, um, have you all ever seen, uh, let me show you something here. It's an excellent tool. So is anybody here familiar with Grammarly? No. Okay, is anybody here? Yeah. Wait, wait, I, I can't understand your question. It's okay. There's a website called Grammarly. Website? Okay. Uh, no. No, mm. I'm not. Okay. As, uh, I yeah, think I, you have to pay for the collection. I saw it before. I, yeah, no. I, I use it before yeah, with so my paragraph. Yeah, yeah. So good. But also, too, they have a new uh, plugin for Chrome. And it's excellent. I mean, even I have it installed. Okay. So it's called the Smart uh, Checker, all right? And this thing is really, really good, okay? Especially if you're um, if you're using like, uh, well, whatever you're using, um, this thing actually plugs in, okay? So I already have this. This thing will actually plug in to the Verbling, uh, pardon me, Kalingo chat in here. You know, it'll plug into the. Uh, Kalingo chat. So, for instance, okay. yeah, let me sh let me show you something in here. Just how cool this is. So, all right, now I'm not getting off on a tangent. What I'm trying to show you is is that this thing here will actually correct your grammar. Okay. So if you look down here, uh, I went to. Okay, watch this. See this? Okay. It'll come here and it'll tell me. All right. Well, I wanted the. Okay, but it'll tell me to change in here. Is this too small, or can you folks see this? Mm-hmm. Oh, to the park. But I did not see the. Mm hmm. Here, let's see if it picks it up.
Okay, well, it's not picking up anything bad right now, but it's just going to continue to work through this, and if there needs to be commas, any punctuation, anything in here, it'll actually help you with that as well, okay? But everything's still coming up okay. Uh, it'll also help you, like, if, you, um, if you're on, like, Facebook, like a guide or on, uh, I don't know if it does on Google+, Plus, but a lot of different places. No. Yeah, yeah, and also too, what will happen here, okay, is it'll also, okay, it'll also come in here and tell you the definition of uh -huh. things. What do you mean, Good. no? <laughs> so I'm just saying this is uh, this is by far, yeah, and I have the, I, we have this, uh, you know, one of, some of the some of the teachers not on this site that I work with, but other ones. You know, we've posted this a few times in that little um, hangout, our little uh, community we have. But really, folks, uh, I'm not trying to take away from Colingo, okay, or anything else. But what I'm saying is you should really look into getting this tool, okay? It's a fantastic tool. I think it's only for Chrome, but I could be wrong, okay? But it just excellent tool that fits in here. Okay, and it'll help you with your punctuation and so forth. And I'm sorry, I'm just a little slow for some reason. I can't get it to uh, to cause well, a punctuation error, but I think that you can <laughs> just kind of trust my word that it, it will fix it for you, okay? You know? No, 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 it's free. It's free. And the link that I gave you, there's no there's no affiliate thing. No, come on, I would tell you if I was trying to uh, to sell you something, right? You know? But no, I just wanted you to take a look at that because it'll help you out. Okay? Especially those of you that are, uh, oh, that was a joke. <laughs> okay. You want me to Sorry. Pay for that? Poor sense of humor. Yeah, you have to send the money to me, though. Okay? <laughs> yeah, so there you go. So I'll, I'll, send you, I'll send you a new version, okay? I'll send don't you don't let anybody like hear you. That is up there. Don't let you fool. You have to pay for it. Actually, you have yeah. to send first no, it, the, the money, and then you use the free app. Yeah, no, it's 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 completely free. But but anyway, just just check it out. It's a really <laughs> useful tool. Okay. <laughs> so okay, so um, yep. Okay, so let's move on to this. So uh, yeah, Monia, will you uh, will you start to read here? You know, sure. it's uh, separate uh, two to separate. Okay. Separate two independent clauses that are connected by a, conj a conjunction such as but. Example, they wanted to, pur to purchase a new car, but their financial si situation w would not allow it. Would not allow it. I'd really enjoy seeing a, fi a film this evening, and I'd like to go out for a drink. Okay, go I'm ahead. I'm a direct quote as opposite to, indi to indirect speech, i.e., he said he wanted to come. Examples, the boy said, my father is often away during the week on business trips. His doctor replied, if you don't stop smoking, you run the risk of a, of a heart attack. Okay, all right. Okay, go ahead. Separate opposite, oppositive a noun or noun phrase or non-defining de relative clauses. Examples, Bill Gates, the richest man in the world, comes from... My only sister, who is a fantastic tennis player, is in great shape. Okay. All right. So good. So, uh, so yeah, it's raining cats and dogs there, David. Okay. All right. Or if, if you were in Brazil, it'd be raining knives, right, David? <sighs> yeah. I always, I always like that expression, raining knives. Okay, so uh, yeah, and folks, again, this is just a lot of informative uh, stuff for you here. Um, you know, and the questions are question marks are easy. Commas sometimes. What I see is people actually overuse commas. What I mean is they use commas 
more than they should. Can you Once please to back to the part that I wrote, mm -hmm. that I read? The first yep. example. Yeah, so uh, up here, the no. boy set? Oh, Bill Gates. No, before. The okay. part before. Okay, and you well, started Thomas. on... You started yeah, on... Yeah, okay. Uh, the, yeah, do you see these examples? Um, I, I, I'd really enjoy seeing a film this evening. It's supposed to be, uh, but I'd like to go out for a drink. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I should be the but. Right, yeah. I, yeah. Um, I get oh, confused see. when I was reading. Yeah, no, no, one, one, one moment. No, because you, you can't have because it Because you can't do, hand. you can't do both things in the same time. Yeah, yeah no, no, let me, let me see. So sometimes ESL makes a, makes an issue. So this is two independent clauses. Yeah, so I'd really like to see a film. Maybe if I say, yeah, so, and yeah, so I'd if, like to go out for a drink after that. Um, Mania, you are correct. No, no. So, if if you just had, I'd really enjoy seeing a film this evening, and um, yeah, I guess you can't get rid of. Yeah, if you uh, if you got rid of, I'd like to go out for a drink. If you said, I'd really enjoy seeing a film this evening and go out for a drink. Okay, then you wouldn't have it anymore. To where those are two independent clauses. Do you get that? Okay. Because no. you have no I. Because you just no. have go out for a drink. Okay. So yes. you have I'd like to go out for a drink. So that's an independent clause, right? Okay. And then you have I'd really yeah. enjoy seeing a film this evening. So that's why you'd put the comma in there. You could leave it out. Okay. All right. Meaning I don't understand most people that do that. Yeah, so what I'm saying here is, here's here's what I'm saying, okay? If you made it like this, okay? Let me put this in here. Here, I'm going to put this in the chat. I really enjoy seeing a field in Steamless. I'd like to go for a thing. And yeah, you would have to change this. A little bit, okay, but I think that's where it's confusing. Okay, so if you had a sentence like that, you wouldn't use a comma because you don't have I in there. I'd like. So. So the reason that you have that. Oh, who did I lose? Wow, I lost Monia. Mhm. Mm Monia, come back. So, yeah, come back. So I was <laughs> explaining it for her, you know. So yeah, so you have those those independent clauses that you have in here. That's why you have that comma. Okay. So Instead he wants just, to do both. The person that says that wants to do both activities. It's it, it's saying that they would yes, they'd like to do both activities in both cases. It's where they would like to do both activities. Okay, all right. But the thing is, once you get once you get rid of, I'd like. Okay, I'd like to. Once you get rid of, I'd like to, you know, go out for a drink as well is not an independent clause. Okay. So do you see that? Okay. Yeah. So the independent. Remember, an independent clause has to have a subject and a predicate. When you get rid of I'd like, I'd like to, okay, all right, that's when it's no longer uh, two independent clauses. Do you see that, Monia? Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, too, I'll tell you, um, oh, I don't mean to sound like that. Gosh, it's, I, t I tell you. <laughs> but um, <laughs> when, uh, it sounds like a retard, huh? So, um but uh, but also too, what I'm saying here is, you know, there's a lot of people that would say I'd really like, I'd really enjoy seeing a film this evening, and I'd like to go out for a drink. You know, there wouldn't be a pause, uh -huh. there wouldn't be a comma. You know, that's very common in English. 
where people would leave okay. that house. Okay. And that's okay. where some of the confusion, and then I'm telling you why it goes in is because they are two independent clauses. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. good. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Madan. Hello, Madan. Hi. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm doing very well. Doing very well. Good afternoon to you. What is it? Is it um, is it one o'clock in the afternoon for you? But no, ten thirty a.m. for me. What? Ten what time is thirty. It? Then, oh, that's right. You're yeah. I forgot. You're like over in Kuwait or someplace like that, yeah, right? Okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. In Middle East, that's why. Okay. Yeah. I I for, I forgot. How are you? I, Very long time we are meeting together. It's been a long time since we've met, right? It's been a long yeah. time since we've seen each other. Yes, and I missed you every day. I missed also <laughs> because uh, I want to improve my English. Yeah, well, it's it's coming along, so that's good. So that's good. So good. All right, and then um, so right now we're in the middle of uh, talking about punctuation. Okay. All yeah. right. So we're just going through uh, periods and commas, and then here's the question mark. Uh, go ahead, Paul. Yeah, question mark. Mhm. Mm yep. Okay. The question mark is used at the end of the question. Examples. Where did you leave? How long have they been studying? Exclamation point. The exclamation point is used at the end of a sentence to indicate great surprise. It's also used for emphasis when making a point. Be careful not to use an exclamation point too often. Examples. But that's right, it was fantastic. I can't believe he's going to marry her. Okay, so yeah. Semicolon. Good, no, good, good emphasis on this. So, yeah, when you when you're writing, make sure that you know you're not just bam, bam, bam. You know, exclamation point after exclamation uh, point um, or or mark. And um, you know, when people are using so much Facebook and all these other things these days, don't don't uh, become one of those people where that starts to flow over into your everyday writing. All right, where you're using too many exclamation marks and other stuff okay don't don't treat Facebook writing as real writing okay I Go don't ahead. use it at all you don't you don't use it at all yeah we <laughs> use it um, um, robots like robots yeah well, well we uh, <laughs> we use it for uh, a lot of different stuff you know for uh, for teaching and stuff but anyway it's another we another can thing. also mm -hmm. we can also yep. say what what a fantastic write and use it in the end of the sentence. Yeah, what a fantastic ride. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it won't be a question. It'll just be, uh, uh, just be, um, you know, just an exclamation of how much yeah. you like it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I use smile instead. You use you use a smiley face instead, Paul. Yeah, I don't like this uh, punctuation <laughs> marks. Except commas and uh, yeah, except commas. I think <laughs> that's all that I use. <laughs> okay. No, no, so, no need to get excited. If you if you study no. writing, just, you have. No, when someone uh, uses the exclamation mark, I, it seems to me like he's crying or she's crying. Like, what? What a fantastic ride! Ah, oh, it's <laughs> it's kind of weird for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, semicolon. Right to use this for a semicolon. To separate two independent clauses. One or both of the clauses are short and the ideas expressed are very similar. Examples. He loves studying. He can't get enough of school. What an incredible situation. It must make you nervous. You separate groups of words uh, that are themselves separated by commas. Examples. I took a holiday and played golf, which I love, read a lot, which I needed to do, and slip, slept late, which I hadn't done for quite a while. They plan to study German for their travels, for their travels, chemistry for their work, and literature for their own enjoyment.
Okay. All right, good, good. Yeah. And once you get into sentences like these, I mean, it's correct, but uh, they're very, very cumbersome um, as far as how they're put in there, okay? And okay, and then uh, let's see. So, Madan, it's been a long time. Why don't you, uh, why don't you read this on the colon, okay? The colon. Yeah. And not, not well, the, not the organ colon, but um, the punctuation, okay? Okay. Colon. A colon can be used for two purposes: to provide additional details and explanation. Examples. He had many reasons for joining the club to get in shape, to make new friends, to lose some weight, and to get out of the house. She gave notice for the following reasons: back pain, horrible hours, poor relations with colleagues, and her boss. To introduce a direct Court, a coma can also be used in this situation. Examples, he announced to his friends, I am getting married. She cried out, I never went to see you again. Okay, I, I think you folks caught that where, excuse, excuse me one second. Sorry about that. Um, I, I think you guys see that as well. Or I think everybody sees that where you can also use a comma um, in the same place, okay? Yeah. All right? Okay, so good, good, good. Uh, any questions about these, about these uh, punctuation rules? No? Okay. Can you give me more examples about semicolon? Yeah, more examples about semicolons. Okay, so, so, um, so yeah, so a semicolon like it's like it's showing here. Uh, you know, if you if you have groups together, like um, you know, uh, I went to the I went to the park and ate some food. You know, comma, which was much needed. Then semicolon, you know sat there with my girlfriend comma which she really loved semicolon and then went home to bed comma um, which I haven't done in three days right okay oh mm, here yeah okay I should, I should I yeah I should write that but you, you you get it you can visualize it right or do you want me to write it out no no, no. it's okay okay Yep. So, and then just the short versions of it are just again, you know, it's it's just two independent clauses, um, but with this one, you're not using a conjunction, right? Okay. That's all you got to think of. Okay. It. You know, you just it, and I'm kind of shortening the rule, but that really is what it is. You know. So you can look, you okay. can look at it. Okay. 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 And, um, and uh, and I'm so, I, I hope I'm I hope I'm being very responsive. For some reason, I, I just felt a little tiredness come over me, which is unusual. Or I felt a little tired. Tiredness doesn't come over you, so you can even tell my English is getting bad. Okay, so let's go on to uh, capitalization here. All right. By the way, folks, this um, if you really want to get into some academic uh, English and so forth. This is an excellent site. It doesn't have everything that you need, okay? But it does have a lot of really useful information here. All right, and it's by Purdue. We used to wrestle against the Boilermakers. Pretty tough people there. Um, okay, so capitalization. Can you tell me which account? Yeah, so... Um, uh, Ahmed, yeah, thanks, Paul. So, yeah, I need a Google account, okay? You need a Google account um, with a uh, with a Twitter account backed up by a Facebook account, also with a um, with a MySpace. No, I'm just kidding, Ahmed. Just go get yourself a G Plus account. You'll be okay. All right, go get a Google uh, Gmail. No, I'm just kidding. You don't need MySpace. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, MySpace. MySpace is pretty archaic. 
you know? So, David, no you can't hear anything? I one. I said you've never had a MySpace account? No. Okay, well, well that's good. That's good. It's good for you. You, uh, you survived that error. Okay. So that was the first place where people share their cats. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, we're back to you. And I, I know Moni is going to have to help me. Um, but let me see her here. Laura. Uh, Laura. Yeah. Laura. Hey. Laura. <laughs> Laura. Laura. I got I, you know, I to gotta, I gotta say, I got to put it in phonetic spelling. Lau. Hmm, I wonder how you do that. Lau. Say like you were saying Lau, like in lawyer. Lawyer, but Laura. No, it's Lau. I think Lau. like Lau, like Laos. Laura. Yeah, Laura. Laos. Lawyer. Yeah, Laura. La, 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 la. Laura. Laura. <laughs> Ojora mismo. Ojora no. mismo. <laughs> no. <laughs> Entienda? La, so, la in Arabic. Laura. In Arabic mm -hmm. means no. La. La? <laughs> yes. La means no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, think, okay, well, let's, uh, I'm sorry, folks. I don't mean to screw around. Um, so, okay, so can you read here lesson four? Okay. Of course. And, and actually, yeah, just don't, don't worry. Just skip, uh, skip that. Just go into capitalization. Okay, go right to here, that first paragraph. Capitalization. Okay. Okay, some of the multiple choice questions will ask you correct errors in capitalization. To prepare for these questions, become familiar with the following rules for what words to capital capitalize and what words not to capitalize. Familiarity. Familiar let, 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 let me help you with that because it'll come up a lot. Capitalize. Mm -hmm. Cap what? Capitalize. Capitalize. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> now, now you, you say I can't pronounce your name right, huh? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> we have yeah. different now it's tongues. Not, it's not, now it's not so easy, yeah. Well, I'm glad we have different tongues. If we had the same tongue, that'd be kind of weird. So, um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Capitalize, and it's okay. I'm just just trying to help you. I'm really not. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And then you're welcome. And then familiarizing yourself. Go ahead. Familiar. Fami oh! Come on, familiarizing yourself with these rules will also help you to edit your essay. Es essay. 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 Mm -hmm. Essay. Yep. Yep. Just okay. like in Spanish, essay like that. Of course, essay. this is uh, this is different. Yeah. This is different. Okay. So this okay. is an actual written paper, not just pointing to something. Capitalize. Okay, mm -hmm. People, mm, people, always capitalize the name of people. I think Harrison Ford, uh, with H and F capitalized, is in that movie. My girlfriend introduced me to her friend Maria, with M. Capitalize it. Um, mm, good. You also capitalize titles like doctor, professor, a judge, where they refer to a specific person. Don't capitalize those words when they refer only to an occupation, to a job. Okay. He was sentenced to five months of probation by Judge Karen Wickle with her name and her um, title capitalized. Um, the course, course that was taught by Professor Johnson with her name and his title capitalized. Um, and when I was a kid, I thought I, I'd be a doctor, but I became a professor instead. Okay, so good, so good. So again, you know, just just keep remembering when it's these proper nouns, okay? All right, and so forth. You know, as far as a specific person, not just a um, occupation in general, for instance, right? Okay, yeah, doctor. Yeah, like the third one. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So okay. So let's continue on. Okay. 
and Sue join us. Hello, Nano. Hello, Nano. Okay. All right. Nano. Uh, hello, Bartolomeo. Okay. All right. And yeah, folks, just uh, if you have a so so uh, Nano, your microphone might be muted. Look above the Colingo logo and see if you have a red microphone. The microphone's red, then that means it's muted, okay? All right. Make sure you click that so that you can speak. All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's continue along here. So David, is it still raining cats and dog? Cats and uh, dogs? It just stopped. Mm -hmm. And what's uh what what's rain in Spanish? Is it juvia or juvia? Juvia? Ju juvia. Depends. Ju juvia? It depends on what? How hard it's raining? Yeah. It's how hard it's raining. Hmm. So what do you say when it's really raining hard? What do you say? Mm. In Colombia we say agua aguacero. Okay. All right, got it. Got it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pick up Spanish there. I just sort of remember that word. Okay, so um so uh it's raining cats and dogs, okay. <laughs> All right, got it. Good David. Okay, David, so go ahead. Uh capitalize, continue on here. Okay. Okay, continue with this part. In every country, okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead here with capitalized family relationships, okay? Go ahead. Capitalized family relationships only when they are used as part of a personal title. Sarah's aunt Trolley bought her the ugliest sweater I've ever seen. My mother is named Nancy Parker. Mm -hmm. Capitalize okay. the names of political, racial, social, national, civic, and athletic groups. The local Red Cross is holding a blog right today. I love to watch the Chicago White Sox play baseball. This university has a high population of Asian American students. Okay, so good. So good. Social, national, civic, and athletic groups. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, let's, uh, what's that? Capitalize everything? Um, <laughs> yeah, but, but just be careful. I mean, the main thing here when you look at this, okay, so everybody's name, always capitalize that. Okay. All right. If you're using a um, title, okay. Also countries. Uh, yeah, also countries as well. Yeah, and we'll get to, that should be when we get to places um, in there. But yep, but also countries, okay. Uh, you also spe see like specific uh, types of food and things. Um, so in here, so for instance, uh, you know, you have a specific judge by name. That's why that's capitalized as opposed to just. I thought I'd be a doctor or a professor or, you know, a judge, okay? And then in here, you know, my Aunt Trudy, my Uncle John, um, my uh, niece Tommy, just different things like that if it's part of the title. Otherwise, my mother, aunt, niece, different things like that, nephews, all lowercase. And then these are just parts of groups, okay, you know? Whether it's like a sporting, um, national, civil, you know, whatever the case, right? So places, here we go. So like places. Um, uh, go ahead, uh, Madan. Go ahead. Hello, Madan. Did we lose you, Madan? We we just got you back. We lost you. Hello, Alvaro. Hi, Alvaro. Okay. Hello, Nano. Oh, you guys. 
Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I guess you guys, you guys just don't want to talk. Make sure that you click the red microphone um, that's there above the Colingo chat. Okay. All right. Just click on that. Okay. All right. So hopefully you'll get it working. So okay, Madan, you're gone as well. I'm gonna miss you. Monia, can you read this, please? Sure. Places always capitalize the names of specific places, cities, countries, geographic regions, street names, school and schools and universities, and landmarks. Examples: She is originally from Cairo, Illinois, but now she's living in New York City. On my hey, Monia, Monia yes. not, to cut, not to cut you short, but let's um, just read the next one and then go on. Just, just read uh, one example of each, so that way we make sure we finish this up, okay? Go ahead. Okay. Go, keep talking at the same Cal speed. I just want to make sure that we finish this up, okay? Go ahead. Okay. Capitalize words. That are dry, that are derived from the names of places, including languages. My favorite Italian city is Florence. Do not capitalize directions on or other general geographic words. Ge geographic words. <clears throat> the mall is just a little bit south of here. Okay, so good, so good, and we can see in here. So capitalize words that are derived from the names of places, right? Okay, you know, Canadian singer um, speak English, speak Spanish, Italian city, all right, Italian food, okay, Canadian food, um, you know, American cuisine, even though that would be real general, um, okay, and then directions or other general geographical areas okay so good 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 and uh, yeah dates and events go ahead dates and events always capitalize names of months days of the week and holidays I was sick from for nearly the entire month of November capitalize the names of historic events my research paper is about the Vietnam War. Do not capitalize the names of seasons unless the season is part of a title. I love fall because of crisp, cool air. Okay, so so one second here. So uh, so yeah, so that's just in general. You know, I love fall. So there's multiple falls that are coming up, right? Uh, we are going to bike a lot during summer vacation. Okay, so now that's a specific one that's coming up, but it's not like summer 2013 is going to be the best, right? The best summer ever. Then you would capitalize that just like you have, you know, fall 2008. Okay? Yeah. Specific right, year. Part of the, yep, specific year, specific, um, well, yeah, also... Um, you know, if you put in the, um, you know, spring view, um, let's see, yeah, like spring view fall dance, okay? So if you have like Springville, let's say that's the, uh, the name of the city, okay? And then you have a special dance every fall, okay? Okay, it's going to be Springville fall dance. Because that's a specific event that's part of that title, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Okay, all right, good. And then, um, yeah, um, let's see, are these guys going to talk? Hello, Nano. Nano Guzman? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, Paul, can you read? Uh, can you read some of this for us? Yeah, tell me please uh, which line. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let me move this up a little bit more. Okay, so titles of works start there. 
Just okay. go ahead and read one uh, sentence out of each, and I, I might stop you along the way, okay? Go ahead. Okay. I always capitalize the titles of articles, books, magazines, songs, albums, television shows, plays, etc. Well, this month, Rolling Stone had a really interesting article on punk music. Don't capitalize short prepositions or articles. The, and, of, etc. Uh, if they aren't uh, the first word of the title. Uh, the best Shakespeare play, I think, it's Romeo and Juliet. Capitalize the brand names of specific products. I love Pepsi, but I absolutely hate Mountain Dew. <laughs> Do not capitalize the general names of products. Uh, it would be nice to have a convertible, but it's too cold for it, for it here in North Dakota. Okay, all right. So, yeah, so just general names of products. So you want to name soda, right? You know, you have burgers and French fries that you don't, you don't capitalize, but you would capitalize like Big Mac, you know, if you uh, if you wanted to make yourself sick. All right. So let's look in here. Um, actually, I think there's a better. I can't remember what this one here. But better of an exercise. Okay. Okay, so here, yeah, this goes back to punctuation, okay? All right, so this first one, guys, what, what is this? What, what punctuation mark do we use? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark, mm hmm Okay, how about the next one? Exclaim. Follow stuff. Yeah, exclamation mark, and if it's Paul, it would just be a period, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Okay. So, just just kidding, Paul. Okay. So the class was changed. All right. Period. Period. Unless you're on Facebook all the time, it'd be an exclamation mark. Everything's an exclamation mark. Okay. Are you sitting here? Uh, question mark. Yes, I am. Question mark. Same. <laughs> So, uh, so let's. Let, I live in Los Angeles. Okay. Period. Period. Okay. What a great idea. Mm. Uh, exclamation. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of like David's asking you, what is your Skype? What is your phone number? What is your Facebook? I'm just kidding, David. Okay. So, what is your? Uh, what is your? <laughs> What is your phone number? What come at the end of that? It's okay. I, I don't even need Skype. I just put it on. You want a question mark? What is your phone number, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, I went to Mexico last year, right? Period. Period? Okay. And yeah, I, I I don't know what submit for evaluation means. To like put in our uh, put in our number. What's this? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, all these are right. I don't know which one we get wrong in here. Okay. So uh, so so let's see what uh, um, Laura has. Laura. Okay. Laura. Yeah. Laura. I hate <laughs> Skype. I like Facebook. <laughs> Okay, good. Very good. Very good example. <laughs> so, excellent. Excellent, you know. It's like uh, self-serving students. Yeah, very good. So, hey, hey, Madon, did you just leave or what? Oh, Madon? Okay, I don't know. Okay, so let's look at these. So, look at these. Uh, they're going to ca contain capitalization errors. We need to identify these. Not all of these are going to have capitalization errors, but let's read the first one. I read it to Kill a Mockingbird when I was in high school. Is that correct? What? Did you? Did you? Okay. Mockingbird. Yeah. So high to kill a mockingbird. Be, uh, like in normal size? It should be normal, yep, because it's not like. If it was Jones High School, right? Okay. But it's just a normal average high school. It's just ref yeah, referring to just anything, you know, any any high school. Okay, we went to Maui for vacation last year. Okay, and Maui 
is an island in Hawaii. I think it's this. Yeah, Maui's a city. Yeah, because people always have these stupid shirts. We got Maui'd. <laughs> like we got married. We got Maui'd. Correct. Oh, que bueno. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. So, um, the next one, I don't drink Coke, but I love a diet soda. Coke. Uh, There's an error with Coke. Normal. So. Normal. Small so, fee. So no, actually, Coke. Coke is a, is correct. Okay. What the problem is is Why? diet soda. It's okay. It's okay. So look back but up Coke here. I love I love Pepsi, but I hate Mountain Dew. Ah, Coke Pizza. is Coca Cola. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. yep, no problem. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. So you were thinking Coke uh, is no, like a Coke, generic not, name of a drink? Not, yeah, exactly. In general, you know, it's not a specific name. Uh, yeah, but I think... You think it's a shortage be... from cocaine? No, no, guys, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, got, I got in enough trouble because when I was talking oh, yeah. about, um, you know, having um, high beginner students, some people took it in the wrong way. So, um, you know, uh, so if you're, if you're a high beginner come to class so I, we have to make sure we avoid stuff like that um, <laughs> but yeah uh, at least in the United States we don't call it coca-cola I mean I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you how we say it we say it as coke you know oh. and we would we would have that uh, and we would just call soda and soda pop okay there's two things that we call it that would all be lowercase I always right? thought it was their genetic name for, for gaseous yeah, even yeah, for like soft drinks or something, you know. Yeah. You thought Coke. Yeah. yeah um, no, we really, we really don't use it like that, though. You know, Coke means Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Um, it's short yeah, name. Yeah, it's just we just call it Coke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say Coke. Yeah. Now. Yep. So, um, and then the next one, if you're learning to speak French, I would love to go to France. Okay. What? <laughs> French, French, it's supposed to be a flight. Yeah, yeah, no problem. French. I just, I'm sitting there just looking at the sentence and thinking, wow, they could have learned from the punctuation that we had from the previous page. You know, if the yes. two pages got married, they could have beautiful children. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, okay, so good, good, good. Uh, Jamie and Jonathan went to their high school dance together last May. Correct. Yep, correct. Yeah, I don't. So the high school dance. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of a tough one. If it was like Johnson High School dance, then I would capitalize it. I, I honestly, that one, I, I might be wrong on that one. Let me just, let me just check. Yeah, it should still be lowercase. But let's see. Yeah, so it's still lowercase. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, let's do this last one here. My father-in-law took me to a Chicago Cubs game. He doesn't know I'm a White Sox fan. Okay. So what are y'all thinking there? My father-in-law. It's okay. My father-in-law is okay. Why father in law is okay? Yeah. Why yeah. have to get to last? Yeah, no, this is this is lowercase. Paul Paul's right because this is just generic, okay? Like aunt, oh, yeah. like Aunt Sally. Um and you would you, you never really have father in law.